Hi. Um, sure. Um, my mentee is uh, Victoria O'Connor. She's a bright, engaging middle schooler from Virginia. She's been a delight to work with um, and enthusiastic about attacking her coding challenges. Um, I'm always in, looking forward to our sessions. Um, we started out with Python, but I think it was when we shifted to Scratch in the last couple of weeks that she really got a more solid understanding of programming. Um, and we wound up with a, um, a game in Scratch. So um, yeah. Wonderful. All right, Victoria, you may begin your presentation. Um, next slide, please. Victoria, can you introduce yourself? Oh, my name is Victoria. I'm in sixth grade. I go to Tomahawk Creek Middle, and I live in Virginia. Next slide, please. My mentor is Sandra Hiramoto. She works at Oracle and what she does is basically test things. Um, she is from Canada and she likes exercising, reading, drawing, and crocheting. <clears throat> Next slide, please. My project is a 2D styled video game and what inspired me was my brother plays a lot of video games so I wanted to learn how to make a game and maybe in the future design others. Um, some tactics and technologies I learned are IDE, Python, Pygame, programming, and Scratch. <clears throat> Some things I did are I went more in depth with for loops. I learned animation, frame rates, and conditional statements. I also plan on organizing and finishing my code. Next slide, please. Um, two of the highlights are getting to work and learn with my mentor and learning more about coding. And two of the lessons I learned <clears throat> are coding takes a long time and patience and sometimes your first idea isn't the best one. Some challenges I have had are classes and events. Next slide, please. Victoria, do you want to speak over it or do you want me to? Um, uh, you just play it. Okay. I think the thing is. Um, my game is a 2D game and the objective is to get to the big or triple block. You can move left, right, and jump. And if you fall, then you would have to restart. Um, if you feel that to the um, little portal, then you would have, you would have to get inside the portal and then click the green flag and then you would move on to round two. Um, my game. Um, some coding I did was, so when I received start, which was a variable I had, it would show it and then set the size to 100%. Then I would go to the coordinates zero, zero, and the scroll X and scroll Y is basically what makes the screen move. And um, the forever loop inside um, below, there's some coding for the move. And then when the flag clicked, it broadcasted start, and then it would hide it. And then the portal is after you touch the purple or pink, then it would say, great job, you completed run one. Um, 
when the flag clipped, it hides it, the um, platform, and then then when it receives starts, then it shows it, and this basically just activates it forever to have it scroll um, side to side and up and down. Next slide, please. Um, so the first part is it changes X by zero, and then if it's touching the ground, then it changes it by X times negative one. And um, like I said, it sets X to zero. And if it's in the air, then it makes it jump a little bit less. And it's basically the same thing with the Y. The next one defines move. So if the right arrow or the key D is pressed, then it switches a costume to whichever way it goes and changes X by one. And if the left or A key is pressed, then it switches the costume to um, what I set it to and changes X by negative one since it's going left. And I think I covered the bottom from the first one. Uh, that's it. Thank you. Congratulations, Victoria. That was amazing. Um, I don't know if you guys caught this at the beginning, but Victoria is in sixth grade. And she took the um, big undertaking of learning how to code. And I hope you are really proud of yourself. I want to open it up to questions. Feel free to drop a question in the chat or take yourself off of mute and ask Victoria yourself. I see Luana, you have your hand up. Yeah, uh, congratulations, Victoria. It's so cool that you learned this on the sixth grade already. I, I just learned how to code in like 10th grade. Um, I'm, I just, I'm just curious, like, do you, did you enjoy it? Do you plan to continue coding? And if so, like, did you enjoy specifically developing a game or are you curious to explore like other sides of, of programming? Um, I did enjoy coding with my mentor and I'm trying to explore some other things besides games and maybe like learn some more about it. Sounds really cool. Good luck. Thank you. I have a question, Victoria. That was very cool. Great work and great presentation. You mentioned that you might want to continue working on this game. I was wondering what you would want to add to it or change. I was thinking about maybe adding some like evil characters that could shoot you or some obstacles along with it um yeah i love that idea thanks that would be really fun i also uh, want to say that there are quite a few great jobs and very cool comments in the chat hi victoria this is ira congratulations uh really good job i wanted to ask you what was the most fun part of this whole journey I know you did Python, it was a little hard, and then um, when you went back to um, Scratch. In that, in all of it, which was the most fun thing that you did? Um, it was probably the Scratch because I got to like work with um, the characters that I put on it. I could edit them. Nice. And we have a hand up, Annika. Hi. Um, congratulations. That was a really great presentation and your game sounds so interesting. So um, you said that one of like the lessons you learned was that your first idea isn't always your best. So I'm wondering like an idea that you maybe started out with and you scrapped for the one that you stuck with for the presentation. So at first I was going to make like moving background, but I realized that was going to be like slightly more difficult if I was going to do it with Scratch. So I ended up using, like, sort of making the screen move with 
my character instead. So cool. What great questions we had. And thank you very much, Victoria. That was absolutely fantastic.